Guys, season six is starting with a live event. This is incredible information. I cannot wait to break this all down for you guys in today's video. If you are new around here, consider smashing that subscribe button and notification bell. I'll be covering every bit of season six content you guys need to know, as well as I will be live streaming this live event for you guys. Also, smash a like on the video if you're hyped for season six and comment down below your predictions for this live event. Anyway, let's jump straight into this and explain exactly what's going on. So on Tuesday, the 16th of March, the season six will begin. We don't know a time just yet i'll keep you updated on that we also have the zero crisis finale so this is going to be the final event and this is where everything is going to go down the whole world is just going to go crazy and this is actually going to start at the start of season six so chapter two season six launches on the 16th of march with an explosive conclusion for the events which happened in season five when you first launch into the new season you'll be given the option to actually play through the conclusion of agent jones's mission into the zero crisis finale so this sounds really exciting the zero crisis finale who knows exactly what that is this line is really important the aftermath of the event is sure to shape reality as we know it that line is very important as we know it reality as we know it it's going to shape it is it going to turn into the real world or something or is it going to turn back to the old map hmm we'll break that down a little bit more in a second here's a little screenshot of agent jones using some sort of binocular device zooming at the zero point or is this agent jones or is this the seven only time will tell we also have some more details on the finale as well if you're interested so don't worry the Zero Crisis Finale is a solo experience and you can play for it whenever you first log in during the season. So it looks like it's just going to be like a one-off option maybe to play through this and there might not be like a replayable option. I'm not too sure. Want to watch it online first we'll share details on how you can watch that obviously when that just goes live as a premiere for everyone. So that's so exciting. With the fate of reality at stake, here's a few tips before season five ends. We'll quickly go through these and we'll jump back to some event details. You can see spend your gold bars, etc. All the exotics have been reduced even further. Last call on the season five battle pass. Make sure you're completing that if you haven't already. Go Sapphire as well. If you need to get if you want to unlock the Sapphire stuff, make sure you're grinding out your levels and challenges. And Breathless Blade pickaxes as well. If you're interested in that, complete your fish stick and lovely's quest, and you'll be granted these in season six if you haven't already got them from the Hearts Wild team battles. So that's the overview of all that sort of stuff in the blog, but that's not the important point. The important point to look at here is the storyline content and how this season is going to end so so if you haven't already for season six make sure you pop in code postbox pack to your item shop if you want to support me i'm a hashtag epic games partner thank you everyone doing that i'm also going to be gifting out a few battle passes and skins like i do every single season so just let me know your epic games name down below and i'll heart a few comments and try and add a few of you guys i'm not going to be gifting everyone i'm not going to be gifting thousands of people it's impossible to do that so do consider your chances are quite low but i do try my best to gift a few people like i did at the start of season five Here's a little preview of a trailer that I saw from my friend uh, Fury over on Twitter. I'll link him down below. This is what he tweeted out and he created. I love this. Check this out. So yeah, he's got like a little overview of John Jones just kind of staring at the zero point. I thought it was a great concept. I had to put it in because it's so nice. It's just a beautiful piece of Fortnite fan art which he's created right there. So I love it. So let's move on and go into some more details of what's going on on the island. So we're on the island right now and you can see the island itself is definitely destabilizing. The zero point is going crazy. Everything is going mad. You can see we're just chilling around the zero point as well and it's just so messy on your screen. You can see like three versions of yourself and moats are slowing down. The zero point is destabilizing. So this is going to all tie in to season six. Now what's going to happen is season six is going to start with this live event which is going to be a single player experience. And I've been saying for a Wow, Fortnite is going to do something very unique just like that and they want to do like something that's different from Battle Royale and creative and save the world and this is a step towards that and the line inside of this blog which does state that everything is going to go back to its normal reality I guess that was like the most important line which I read this is so key because this could mean obviously the aftermath of this event is sure to shape reality as we know it could that mean that we could go back to the real world or could we go outside of fortnite and play some sort of free roam game they also talk about how they need to remove gold bars from the game to allow for extra features in season six there's definitely something big going on behind the scene right now we're seeing a first single player campaign inside of fortnite we don't know if it's one off yet we might be able to replay it we might not we don't know if you have the option to play it when you log in or you can skip it I'm excited for it. I hope it's like a about half an hour long, at least. If it's any shorter than that, it might just be, you know, a quick one. I'm not too sure if it'd be that good then. But still, it still is a live event, but it's a solo experience. The idea of a solo experience really does help out the community as a whole as well, because you don't get the ability to miss the event. And I think, I think, I don't know. I think like events itself make it really unique because you can watch the events live with others and i think that's kind of a unique thing about them and everyone's watching it at the same time whereas this solo experience 
people are going to be watching it at different times because if you don't watch a stream or you don't watch it when it first comes out, you might just want to play it for yourself, which is fair enough. But I will be streaming it so you guys can watch it if you're away from home or if you want to watch it after. I'll be streaming it and then I'll be uploading it as well. So I'll have like double videos on that, which is going to be super exciting on both channels by post and post box packs. So make sure you stay in tune there. We'll also be keeping you guys updated with all the boss changes and all that sort of stuff on the second channel. So if you're interested in any of that mechanics, they're over there. And on the main channel, we're going to be doing all the map changes, all the storyline related stuff obviously that's going to be mega and we're also going to be doing a bunch of other stuff as well starting from all the new mechanics inside of season six so make sure you stay in tune for all that leaks and stuff we've got a lot of stuff this is so exciting and just generally i cannot wait to stream this update i'm so excited and you can see like i said from the replay on screen which you're watching you can see the destabilization is out of control every single day the zero point is expanding but at least now one really positive thing about this blob is you don't need to sit on youtube watching them fake streams you don't have to sit there watching them guys going guys the zero point it's expanding right now spam f and chat like subscribe you don't have to sit there watching that anymore so yeah, I guess that's a good point with them announcing this. And there are a few of them going. I've had them in my recommendations every single season. I get them in my recommendations. It's different people now every single season. But anyone that does that, they're just complete fools. Don't ever watch that, guys. You're just wasting your time, honestly. They're just complete fools. And they're just trying to get like a lot of subscribers from something that isn't even happening. So, honestly, guys, just avoid it at all costs. But that's really nice to see that that is going to be shut down, obviously, because the event has now been confirmed to start on Season 6 launch day. I think this is going to be such a huge hype season six is launch day it definitely keeps people excited for the release of season six i know a lot of people on my community were getting a little bit upset that there wasn't really an event this season for season five it's going to be exciting to see how all the hunters are going to take part in this event and i think that's why it's more of a single player storyline event because there's going to be a lot of skins and a lot of hunters that will possibly take part during this event because jonesy has recruited all these people surely they've got to have some sort of act in this and i feel like it'll be more like a trailer style event kind of where you're just kind of walking around and you might see like alien v predator and things like that go down like little easter eggs there and then there's gonna be a lot to break down in that trailer and i think you will see the development of the season six map as well during this it's just my mind is going like so excited i'm thinking about what could actually happen in this you could see the return of the seven you could see the return of so many other things as well agent jones could be added in as the battle pass skin in season six that's highly likely as well we also could see some more of the seven obviously we only have paradigm scientist and the visitor we could see another member of them for those that don't know what the seven are i know there's a few of you that may have played in chapter two and missed out on all that sort of stuff don't worry about it it's just free technological kind of advancement skins that look pretty cool i don't know if you can ever cop the paradigm again hopefully it does return the shot for you guys i know i have it but i'd love for you guys to get your hands on it sadly the visitor and the scientist will never ever return unless you do another variant of them they're never going to return in their standard form but i think that's kind of cool i think we've still got four others for you guys to cop i think we may see one be revealed in the season six event so make sure you keep your eyes peeled guys for the reveal of the seven but yeah, it's just so exciting. The whole storyline, the whole event, everything that's going down, it's just getting mega right now, guys. This is it. Season six live event launch is gonna be incredible. If you guys are excited for this, like I said, leave a like in the comment section down below. And don't forget to pop code postbox pat into your item shop right now for season six. I'm gonna be giving away a bunch of battle passes as well this season six. So if you like a chance of getting gifted a battle pass, let me know your Epic Games name down below in the comment section, and I'll be gifting it few of you not loads of you guys only a few people but just let me know in the comment section i'll be adding a few of you guys and gifting out some battle passes so if anyone wants a chance of getting one you can just comment down below and i'll try and gift out a few of them to you guys all right guys i hope you guys have enjoyed leave a like comment and subscribe and once again this is postbox pat signing out